بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اینڈ ود این ادر ایگزامپل یو نو دا بک ایگزامپل دیٹ آئی لیفٹ 2.4 لیٹ می گیو دی ہیڈنگ اٹس ایگزامپل 2.4 فائن ناؤ ایکس آف این از گیون ٹو بی 1 ایکس آف این اٹس گیون ایز 1 وین این از بٹوین 0 Uh, and 4 and this is 0 otherwise fine and similarly uh, impulse response is given it is h of n which is equal to alpha to the power n when n is between 0 and 6 and it is 0 otherwise and what we are asked is y of n which is unknown so you know the basic steps right x of n we change it to x of k so so i would draw it with the black color x of k this would be something important so if this is your k axis this is your x of k axis so this would be 1 from 0 1 2 3 and 4 so this is your 1 Fine, and then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so this is 0, and similarly 5, 6, this is 0, and so on. Fine, then you have h of k. So you will be changing the, the what? The what? The, the variable, right? So if this is your k axis, so h of k is what? It's from 0 to 6, so alpha is greater than 1, they have given, so this would be an increasing exponential sort of a function so you have it from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the smallest at 0 and the largest position would be at 6 and then it is 0 after this time interval 7 8 is 0 fine now what you require you require h of minus k then so if you require h of minus k, so you have to do what? You have to time reverse the signal. So if this is k, now minus 7 would be 0, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and 0. So the maximum weight would be at n equal to minus 6 and then it would be decreasing minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and 0. Fine. Now you need to start the shifting. So h of n minus k, n minus k. So n minus k first, let's say consider it for n less than 0, right? So if you have h of n minus k, so it would be something like this, if this is your k axis. So the 0th position, now you have 0, so the, 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 the smallest weight would occur at n, at n because if n is equal to 0 so this would be at 0 fine and then minus n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 n minus 5 and the largest weight would occur at n minus 6 fine this is for your n less than 0 so have a look in this case in this case what is the problem we don't have any overlap if you multiply x of k with h of n minus k you know that y of n would be summation k running from negative infinity to positive infinity x of k h of n minus k. But have a look in this case the product. We don't have any overlapping because one function is lying to the right of 0, the other function is lying to the left of 0. So which means that y of n is 0 for all values of n that are less than 0 fine now if you have for n equal to 0 but now we have a problem we don't have a problem we have another method the book has taken some intervals let's say the book has taken the interval that is from 0 to 4 fine but I am not going to do it in the intervals I will do it for each and every value okay so the interval that the book has taken is when n is between 0 and 4. 
right so i would be doing it for each and every value in this interval so let's say the first is for n equal to 0 with this green color so if n is 0 you have a directly h of minus k fine so you have an x of k multiplied with h of minus k so the overlap would occur only till where till 0 the overlap will occur only at position 0 fine so this would be equal to alpha to the power minus k right alpha to the power minus k this is for n equal to 0 the overlap would only be occurring at 0 fine now if you have at n equal to 1 at n equal to 1 so you draw h of 1 minus k 1 minus k so you have the h of minus k shifted towards the right by a single unit so the minimum position would be occurring at a positive 1 and the maximum position which is n minus 6 so this would occur at minus 5 so which means that now the overlap would occur at 0 and 1 we would have overlap at 0 and 1 fine and what would be the uh, answer so the answer would be again alpha to the power now it would be n minus k right we would be writing it not minus k we would be writing it as n minus k why is this because now now this has been shifted this was shifted toward 1 1 h of 1 minus k this is have a look so h of 1 minus k is what it's alpha of 1 minus k and similarly over here you can write a 0 minus k fine now for n equal to 2 if you have n equal to 2 so now what would happen it would be an h of 2 minus k so h of 2 minus k means that this would now the minimum position would be at 2 and then it would increase and the maximum position would be at minus 4 the maximum position would be at minus 4 so have a look now the answer would be the 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 overlap would be at 1 at 0 and at 2 as well because this function is over here also so you have the overlap till 2 which means now the overlap is alpha of 2 minus k because now this function is alpha h of 2 minus k is basically what it's alpha of 2 minus k and this is being multiplied with x of k which is equal to 1 so the answer is alpha of 2 minus k fine now for n equal to 3 for n equal to 3 now what do you have is you would be shifting it till 3 so at 3 you have the minimum position and the maximum position would be at n minus 6 so which means 3 minus 6 the maximum would be at plus at minus 3 so have a look now that function is still 4 so you have the overlap at 0 you have it at 1 you have it at 2 and you have it at 3 so now this function basically is what this is h of 3 minus k h of 3 minus k which is what which is alpha of 3 minus k because alpha of minus k is shifted towards the right by a 3 units this h of minus k means this is alpha of minus k right if you are confused in that point so now now the answer would be this is alpha of 3 minus k because this would be multiplied with 1 and then you sum it so this is the answer for n equal to 4, for n equal to 4, what do you have? Now, the smallest weight would be at 4, and the largest weight would be at 4 minus 6. So, 4 minus 6 means minus 2. This is h of 4 minus k. Fine. So, now, you multiply alpha 4 minus k with a 1. The overlap is at 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, you have an alpha of 4 minus k. So have a look what can I write I can write that y of n is equal to in this interval I can write that y of n is equal to but have a look uh, wait 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 don't do that point wait so the answer is that y of n would be equal to what y of n this would be equal to summation k running from negative infinity to positive infinity you would have x of k is 1 h of n minus k in this interval is alpha of n minus k this is for the interval 0 to 4 now 
come the mathematical part which I don't know <laughs> basically. So you have the infinite sum formula let me write wait equation 2.13 we saw in the previous uh, in the previous example that if you have something uh, is the summation k running from 0 to n if you have something like this that you have summation k running from 0 to n right uh, alpha to the power k so what would be the case the answer would be 1 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 upon 1 minus alpha so now in this case what do you have is we will be changing the limits right because over here we have infinite here we have n minus k so we we'll change this n minus k to r we will change n minus k to r fine so when k would be equal to minus infinity r would be equal to 0 right so we have this limit from 0 to n 0 to n because this product is existing from 0 to n or n is 4 the final n so we would have what the final answer is that y of n would be well we we, we do it like this wait uh, y of n this we would write as r running from 0 to n r running from 0 to n alpha to the power r so this would be equal to 1 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 over 1 minus alpha. Isn't it so? 1 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 divided by? Yes, it is. From this formula. So, so I would write it over there and then I will remove this thing that our y of n this is equal to 1 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 upon 1 minus alpha. This is for the interval 0 and 4. Now I know that you did not understand uh, the, the, the concept of changing of limits. But you also know this very well that I am very weak in this mathematical operations. Uh, differential equations, numerical analysis. <laughs> I, I have C grades in both of these subjects. So I'm sorry for if you have not understand the changing of limits. I don't understand it as well. The basic concept is the concept of overlapping. This is they have generalized it some result. They have generalized this summation and this summation to generalize this is from your mathematics. This is not signal in systems. Anyway, the next. So I would now wrap this thing. So the next interval is from 4 to 6. So when n is greater than 4 but it's less than or equal to 6. So if n equal to 4 we have done. Now we need it for 5 and 6 which means basically this is for 5 and 6. So for n equal to 5 you would have an h of 5 minus k. So you would be shifting that to, to 5 units to the right. So if this is k. So if the maximum uh, would be if the minimum would be right at 5 so the maximum would be writing at an x minus n minus 6 so n is 5 so 5 minus 6 would be a negative 1 so have a look now the overlap the overlap would be at uh, 0 1 2 3 and 4 0 1 2 3 and 4 so uh, at 5 we don't have an overlap because x of k is not existing over there so 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So now you, you would write what? This. So now the answer would be what? If you do it in that particular way. So if k is running from negative infinity to positive infinity. So the product would exist only between 0 and 4. Because the overlap would be at 0 and 4. So I could write that in this particular case. You have your y of n equal to summation k running from 0 to 4 and h of n minus k is alpha of 5 minus k in this case and similarly for n equal to 6 if you have so you would have h of 6 minus k 
and in that particular case the maximum would be running at 0 and the minimum would be running at 6. So now the overlap would be again from 0 to 4 from 0 to 4 so again you would have the same particular case and the answer would be alpha of 6 minus k the answer would be alpha of 6 minus k as in that case we have 5 minus k in this case we have 6 minus k in that case n was 5 in this case n is 6 so what do you have is that your y of n is the final answer is that k is running from 0 to 4 you have alpha of n minus k this is your final answer for the interval 4 to 6 the book has done something else they they've taken alpha of n outside then you have k running from 0 to 4 they have alpha of minus 1 to the power k now let me check what do they have because these mathematical operations so uh, the the formula they have used again and and i i removed that formula let me write it again that when you have a summation that k is running from 0 to n alpha to the power n this is 1 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 upon 1 minus alpha yes so uh, you have it in this case so so what would be the answer this would be alpha to the power n and then for this you would have 1 minus alpha to the power minus 5 because that is 4 and over here you would have 1 minus alpha and let me check so you have it uh, yes but uh, over here you have alpha minus 1 right so the final answer is alpha to the power n well uh, this would be multiplied with this so you have alpha to the power n minus alpha power n minus 5 what is this well so 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 uh, you do what you do the simplifications by yourself you do this simplification by yourself right because the time is also running out and i'm quite weak you know it very well so the final answer that you would get is that y of n would be equal to alpha to the power n minus 4 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 alpha n minus 4 minus alpha n plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha this is for 4 and 6 for this interval fine now for the next interval that is between 6 and 10 so 6 and 10 is our next interval so I will again remove uh, this part of it okay the the formula I would let it be so if the interval is now between 6 and 10 so the first that I consider is let's say for n equal to 6 so you have an h of 6 minus k so which means that the minimum would be lying at 6 the maximum weight would be lying at n minus 6 which would be 0 so 6 is not included 6 we have already done now you have 7 so so 7 minus k so 7 and then 7 so we have a 1 so now what do you have is the overlap would be at 1 2 3 and 4 the overlap would be at 1 2, 3 and 4. 0 is not included. Have a look. What does this 1, what lies at this 1? The maximum weight which lies at n minus 6. Fine. So now we are going to understand the limits. Okay. So the, the, the weight, the running is from n minus 6 to n equal to 4. If you have an h of 8 minus k now. So now what would be happening, we would be at 8, the minimum and the maximum would be at 2. So now we would be having overlap at 2, 3 and 4. 2, 3 and 4. So have a look, what does this 2 represent? This 2 is representing the weight and minus 6. Fine. 
Similarly, for 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 uh, you would have it for h of let's say I draw it. So for h of nine minus k, you have it at nine. The minimum and the maximum would be at three. So now the overlap would be at three and four. And finally, for h of 10 minus k, so the overlap would be only at 4 because this would lie at 4 the maximum weight and the minimum would lie at 10. So what do we learn from this? What do we learn from this? We learned that the product that is y of n the summation limits x of k multiply h of n minus k. So, so this is summation x of k is 1, h of n minus k is what? It is alpha of n minus k, fine. If your n is 10, you have 10 minus k. If your n is 9, you have 9 minus k. Similarly, 7 minus What would be the limit? So, the limits are the higher limit. It is not exceeding 4. Whatever is the value of n, the overlap is till n equal to 4 k equal to 4. So you have the upper limit as 4 and have a look for the lower limits. For the lower limits it is n minus 6 k equal to n minus 6. I told you it is from the highest weight. Any highest weight in each position is lying at position n minus 6. This is also n minus 6. We told you from the beginning that it is n minus 6. So which means the lower limit is n minus 6. Fine. And now let's see again if they have uh, so yes they have uh, changed the limits so they have written that r is equal to they have written that r is equal to k minus n plus six k minus n plus six so you have an n minus six so r would come out to be zero so finally y of n would be what y of n it would be summation r running from 0 to 10 minus n alpha to the power 6 minus r alpha to the power 6 minus r. So now again by uh, this formula, by this formula you simplify it for yourself alpha to the power 6 you take it outside minus 1 into r you let it be. Fine. How do you do it? as previously I did alpha to the power 6 is outside r running from 0 to 10 minus n alpha to the power minus 1 into r and then you put it like this so the final answer that you get the final answer y of n this would equal what this would equal alpha to the power n minus 4 minus alpha to the power 7 and this would be divided by 1 minus alpha and this is for position uh, that n is lying between 6 and 10. Now uh, once again I am sorry, once again I am sorry, how did I do this step? Change of limits. So this is your homework, home task you can say. Change of limits. Now why am I doing this? So this you need to know it from your mathematics. Differential equations, numerical analysis and this and that. Now finally the final uh, is that when n is greater than 10. When n is greater than 10. So what do you have? Let us say I plot h of n 11 minus k. h of 11 minus k. So the lowest position would write at k equal to 11 and n minus 6, what do you have? n minus 6 would be then uh, 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 11 minus 6 would be 5. So the maximum position would be at 5, the minimum is at 11. So have a look, we have no overlap. We have no overlap. And when do we have no overlap? When n becomes greater than 10. So finally I could write that y of n is again equal to 0 for n value greater than so that's all about this example, a little tricky example, a little longer example. I believe you have understood it. Uh, 
Uh, the change of limits, you understand it for yourself from your mathematics teachers. From those subjects, you know it better than me. For me, that's all about today. Uh, see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah, with most probably some more examples or uh, the continuous time uh, examples. So, till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.